back to my channel. I did promise a vintage handbag collection video and so this is it. <laughs> Guys, I'd love if you subscribe if you like styling, fashion, uh, a little vintage thrift here and there, then please subscribe to my channel, like this video if you liked it. My name is Roche, my main channel is Roche, and this is Model Image where I like to post my more girly stuff. So the first bag I'm going to show you, it's this 80s bag, my mom's 80s bag. I've, you know, she used it, I kept it. Um, I remember when I was really young, she had a pair of open toe stilettos, a two-toned um, gray stilettos that I always wore with this bag. And so I held on to this. This is what it looks like. Just a short little, um, sleeve I would have taken it worn it with jeans or tucked it inside and took it as a clutch but it's just you know just a simple little bag but I really like it just has one little pocket in here but it holds a lot because the the leather is pliable or faux leather whatever it is it's pliable so this was just you know it's just near and dear to my heart I always remember those pair of shoes if she had those shoes now still you know I'd, of course I'd also have that in my collection because I'd steal that too but <laughs> so this is like my intro into like 80s purse and you know vintage purse and so I'll always hold on to this this will stay in my closet the next thing you see my mother and my grandma there are the instigators for <laughs> my love of vintage because my grandmother gave me this and it's my first Chanel dupe and it's this <laughs> It's this cute little purse I think she all my grandmother also used this in the 80s. It's also a pop. It's not all again not in the best shape I do have some stuff in here So it's just like two compartments with a zip in the middle and there's also a zip at the back So it's pretty functional. Oh, there's also a little thing snap at the back as well to hold stuff in so it's very functional I have used it I've taken it to church um, and this is also something that will stay in my collection you know the the brand that was knocking off <laughs> Chanel back in the day is it's called Daniela bag and it says Daniela bag New York Paris and Milan so you know I don't know how much it was back in the day but I'll always hold on to this little thing but like I said you know they are the instigators for my vintage love um, you would have seen this one if you saw my um, top 12 vintage finds um, you would have seen this bag if you haven't seen it I'll link it below um, but you know this beauty you know so structured the color is so good it was in such great condition you can take it cross body and you can also you know pop the handles out here because they're like pull up handles so you can pop the handles up and take it like this as well I typically just wear it on my shoulders because I don't want to wear the handles out but this is yeah such a beautiful find um, I don't want to go through these bags too long but if you open it up it's like you know 1980s briefcase for women you know when you know women really was heading out into the work world they started recognizing that and started making products geared for the working woman and I love this so this is one of my top 12 vintage finds and it's this gorgeous um, gorgeous female briefcase yeah I hope you can't hear the music. My neighbors play music very loud, so um, we'll press through. The next one is this little bag here, and depending on where you get it, you can pay a pretty penny for this um, bag. It just has this, um, what do you call it? It's not a lion, it's a panda head right here. It has a little bit of knob here, and what you do is you pull them to open it. And it snaps close so that's how you use this it's also a shoulder bag for me um, when I just want you know blue just a solid blue navy bag 
I always reach for this and it just has like a little pocket inside and even though it doesn't have a zip it, it snaps those really well and it works pretty awesome so this is the next one also in really great shape which is why I got it I will move then on to all right let me do this one I got this when the shoulder bag trend was going around I saw it but it's definitely you know right up my alley right now I have about I have another like J crew larger one that has this shape but it's this um, vintage Ralph Lauren bag and it's just a plain black I love the, the, the little gold closure here and you just open it like this there's a little pocket here at the front and then there's like a zipper pocket in here um, everyone is going after like the Prada version of this um, a lot of brands you know even the Fendi baguette kind of has this shape so this was like really nice just look, yeah next I will show you this um, I love this brand for vintage um, I had another black um, bag almost like a speedy type bag and it's I can't find the name but I know this logo it's like 18 something I'll put the name up <laughs> I'll put the name up, um, but it's not coming to me right now. And it's just this cute brown bag. I loved this because my grandmother, again, used to have a lot of bags with this snap. And even my mom had this type of bag where you pull the top, the top up and it snaps. It just has like a, it just has a zip here. I just, I put a pen in every one of my bags just so when I grab my bag, I always need a pen. So I go around and I put a pen in every single bag. Everybody does that, right? But yeah, so it just has a pen right now, but it, it has a small, um, it has a zip in the back. Inside is like a velvet, like a nice chocolate velvet um, coating. And I just really liked the patchwork velvet leather um, designs here. This is also like another shoulder bag. I wear jeans a lot and it's just really cute. The next one is okay I'll show you this one and Michael Kors had um, a bag kind of similar to this shape which I found very funny but it's this right here and it has all these rainbow stripes it's on both sides and it's another one of those snap top um, little bags you open it up another pen <laughs> It has a pocket on the side here. There's an, uh, a zip pocket, zipper pull pocket here. And it also holds a lot, right? The original straps were really um, broken. So I took the straps off and there's a strap that I use on this with red and stuff that's probably on another bag. Um, but I really enjoy using this. It holds a lot. Um, I'm, my, I'm able to be my most formal self which I think I am when you know right now I'm going to church or you know if I have a brunch occasion where I get to wear my dresses and my bags and so I enjoy having these and playing around with them with my style so the next bag oh I showed you also in my last um, video a uh, Ferragamo plaid bag I'm separating the luxury bags for another video but I was looking for, you know, like some carpet bags. Those are really nice to have. I just gravitate to those during the fall months. And so I did find this carpet bag. And also, you know, Dior was, Dior did quite a bit of this um, carpet bag trend. They had, they, they had a version of this in their Lady Dior bag. And so when I saw this, I'm like, oh my God, this is my, um, Lady Dior inspo bag so it just you know these these this leather strap is really nice and soft as well and it's another snap open you know it was very popular in those times it's a snap it snap close in the middle here 
um, well, it's what you have to lift and, and push it. But you have space on either side, and then the things that you want to really secure, like your purse, etc., you just put it in this little section. It has another little zip, and of course, another pen. I'm not crazy. Believe me, it works. You keep when you switch stuff over, you're gonna always remember to put your keys, um, your purse, you know, your sunglasses, your test glasses, your phone, but you always forget a pen until you have to write something down and then you're like, uh, I don't have a pen. So I just pre-pack all my bags <laughs> with a pen. <laughs> so the next bag, I'll stick to the fall trend pieces and the other carpet bag that I found that I um, I mean, all of these are forever bags, but this just screamed me, and it's this one. It's a similar shape and design. It has the pull top here as well. I put some um, stuffing in here to keep to help keep the shape. So I have this nice and stuffed. This doesn't have an inside pocket. It just opens up and it snaps close but i really like this lucite handle type thing and the color of this is just really nice as well so i really like this bag so i pull this out every fall it looks so you know cute the next bag last year also you know the 90s um shoulder bag was in and so i got the ralph lauren version with the gold hardware and so I needed something especially in the fall I gravitate to like black and grays a lot and so with that I would go for more silver hard um, silver jewelry etc I I'll mix sometimes but sometimes if I'm doing gray and black I'll just stick to silver jewelry and so I just got this one I love the shape of it I just like this little thing right here I think this is Liz Claiborne yes Liz Claiborne um, the other thing is the bags, you know, such good quality. And so I really enjoyed this shoulder bag trend. And I always prefer to go for the vintage versions rather than, you know, the Zara Topshop versions. I always prefer the vintage um, finds for my trend pieces if I'm going after trends. And then they're most, more than likely, if it's a trend that I'm into, it's probably something that I'm really gonna hold on to. So. This is one of them. Um, so it's just a black, really structured um, bag with silver hardware. Yeah. Next, because I really like top handle. Um, which one should I show you? Okay, let me show you this. This bag, I swore my one of my aunts. Oh, my seat is moving. I swore one of my aunts had something. Well, my grand aunts, my grandmother's sister had one of these bags. <laughs> and so I, this is also a Poshmark find. Um, they, this, I actually, this I actually found on Depop. Again, I was looking for uh, fall style bags. And so I found this on Depop. This one I found on Poshmark. It is so cute. <laughs> and this, you, you turn the button here to open. And it's just a cute little box bag. There's nothing else in here. Um, but it just, it holds a lot. It's, it has a lot of structure and a lot of space in there. So, you know, it holds what I need. But it's, it's just the cutest. I just, you know, just cute, cute little box bag. The next bag I have, um, this one, it's not the best quality. It, the, the handles broke off because the handle, you know, inside of the handle, it was like a cardboard thing. So I literally just tore it off. That's how fragile it was. But I enjoyed the print of this. It's like a little... Aztec Asian something I have no idea where this is from but I really enjoyed it the the flaps also it's like 
you lift them out here. Let me try to be gentle and not pull them completely off. So you just pull them up like this. It comes out and the same thing for the mane. Um, and you just open it up. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I didn't pay much for this or they probably just gave it to me when they saw me looking at it. I, where, what was I doing? Yeah, I don't think I paid for this, but I, because I liked it, they just gave it to me because the, the handle was, like I tell you, was falling off. And this isn't like the best, but I do like taking it as a clutch and I don't have a lot of red bags. So I just really like this thing. It's, yeah. Next, I only have two more bags. And so I'll show you this bag, which uh, trunk bags were really a thing. Um, probably a year ago or two years ago. And so when I saw this for my, you know, trend dupe, which this is such excellent condition um, and quality. It's always the, <laughs> the vintage bags and the quality is what I like. So for the most of these, they're so well made and in such really good conditions when I got them. This one, it, you know, I wore this a lot. It did fall from me a few times but it's this trunk bag here and i love it it's almost like you know lunch bag and it it opens like this so you open it this this literally like pulls down like this and this holds so much in here it just has like a little um pocket and slots for like two or three card holders I just like rearranged like my bag shelf so I guess I took the pen out of this one <laughs> and then the front as well they're like snap open just to hold a few little things here but I also really like this and then just um does this open no so just the design at the back it's just stitching at the back but it holds really a lot inside and of course I just, you know, it's just like a on the crook of your hand type bag, but yeah, I like that. So the last bag is this gray bag here. Of course, again, a nice structured bag. Um, it has like that accordion um, style on the side. Uh, you'll be able to see it like that. I enjoy this little chain here it gave me a real Gucci vibe and of course you know like I said I gravitate to you know grays um, and I put silver with it but I do use this year-round and so with the gold hardware you know I don't mind mixing those two colors even though gray would suggest that you go with you know silver it has two compartments um, two sides here and a little zip back and of course my pen <laughs> ah. <laughs> I need to go through and put back pens in the ones that I took out when I was storing them uh, but yeah so again this is like you know the vintage bags hardly are gonna be you know crossbody they didn't really do crossbody then but it's just like a nice shoulder um, but yeah those are my vintage handbags I love them they are going to be in my closet uh, forever and a day um, so thank you for staying till the end of the video I hope you liked looking through my vintage handbag collection remember there the these are separate from my um, luxury designer handbags I will put that in a separate video uh, just stay tuned. I have a lot of styling and fashion in store just to help you with like your day-to-day -day styling or just to show you mine basically. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I love your support. And also I have a lot of, you know, styling and fashion and some beauty, um, some more beauty videos coming up. Sorry, I just <laughs> gripped my finger. <laughs> So if 
that's your kind of thing. I'd love to see you back, and I'll see you soon.